this is the last of five projects written up by Shelley Tan of Northwestern University's Night Lab. And this is Hangman. Let's check it out. Okay, it says the word contains nine letters. Please enter one letter or a nine letter word. So I'm going to disobey that and enter two letters. And it says invalid entry. So it's checking to make sure that I enter either a one letter or a nine letter word. This time I'll obey, enter A. Yes, the word contains two A's. And it shows me where they are in the word. So I have star, 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 A, star, star, A. All right, now I'll enter an E. Yes, the word contains an E. S, no, sorry, the word does not contain the letter S. How about an R? No R, N, no N. Okay, let's keep guessing. N. Oh, it says I've already guessed an N. Boy, I'm having a hard time with this one. I already guessed an O as well. Oh, I got it. It is Chewbacca. Yes, the word is Chewbacca. You got it in 15 tries. Boy, that took me a long time. All right, let's play again. The word contains nine letters again. Oh, another big one. We'll try A, S, T, E. Okay, and that's... Sebastian. So actually, let's instead of writing it out, let's just guess all the letters. And it says, yes, the word contains the letter N. Yes, the word is Sebastian. You got it in seven tries. Much better than last time. Let's check out the code. Okay, we'll go down to the bottom and we see we call the main function. So let's look inside the main function. And here it is. Word gets get word. So get word is a function. And it's just a function that has a list of words, and these are all characters from stories or from movies. And then we return random.choice words.upper. So we're going to uppercase the word so that we can compare uppercase words to uppercase words or uppercase letters to uppercase letters. Um, we import random at the top. And then random.choice we've seen before, it just picks an element within a sequence. All right, let's go back down. After we assign that random word to word, we say guesses gets an empty list. So we're going to keep track of the user's guesses in this list. Then we set our Boolean guessed to false because we have not yet guessed the word. And then we print the word contains length word letters. It's going to print out the word contains five letters. The word contains seven letters, however many letters the word contains. And then we get into our game loop, our while loop, while not guessed. So while guessed is false we assign please enter one letter or a curly brackets dash letter word dot format length word so length word the length of word will replace that curly bracket entry so it'll say please enter one letter or a nine letter word or something like that and it assign that to the variable text and then we'll assign input text so we'll output the the text message and we'll get input from the user and assign that input to the variable guess and then right away, we're going to upper guess. We're going to uppercase it so that we can compare uppercase letters to uppercase letters. If guess in guesses, all right, we're looking in our guesses list and we're saying, does the guess that the user just entered exist in the guesses list? And if it does, we'll print, you already guessed guess. You already guessed A, for example. Else if length guesses equals equals length word. So if they've entered a, a word here that has the same number of characters in it as the answer word, then we're going to append their guess to the guesses list. And we're going to say if guess equals equals word, if they guess the right word, we'll set guess to true. Else we print, sorry, that is incorrect. All right. And if we were in that, that part of the if else if block, we would end there and go back to the next iteration of the while loop. Otherwise, we'll move on to our next else if. Else if length guess equals equals one, so they entered a one letter character or just one character, guesses.append guess. We'll append that guess to guesses and we'll say result equals check word comma guesses comma guess. So let's go look at our check function. So the first thing we do in our check function is we set status to an empty string. We then set matches to zero and then we loop through the letters in our word. A string is an iterable in Python. We can loop through the characters in a string. So for letter in word, if letter in guesses, status plus equals letter. So what are we doing here? We are using our status variable 
to create the word that we're going to return to the user. It's either going to be a bunch of stars or stars with letters in them, or it's going to be the full word. So in this case, if letter is in guesses, we'll concatenate that letter to our status string. Else, we concatenate a star to our status string. And then after we've done all that, we say if letter equals equals guess, matches plus equals one. So note, we're still in our for loop. We're checking every letter. And for every match that we get, we're going to add one to matches. Then at the end of our for loop, we check if match is greater than one. That means there was more than one match. The letter that the user guessed showed up more than once in our word. We print, yes, the word contains two A's, for example. Else if matches equals equals one, it only showed up once. We print, yes, the word contains the letter A. Else we print, sorry, the word does not contain the letter A. We return the word with some of the letters covered up with stars. Okay, let's go back to where the check was called. Here we assign the value that check return to result. And then we say if result equals equals word, guess equals true. Our guess gets true. That means that they've guessed it. Else we print result. That's the word mixed with stars. Finally, if we reach this else condition, that means the user didn't enter one letter and they didn't enter a word with the same number of letters as our magic word. So then we print invalid entry. Okay, if at the end of all this, guess has been assigned true, and that happens if the user has guessed the word or they've guessed all the letters in the word, we will check in our while loop and our while loop says while not guessed, so it will stop going through the while loop. And then it will come down to the bottom and it will print, yes, the word is word, whatever it is, you got it in length guesses, tries. Yes, the word is scar, you got it in nine tries. And that's how the program works. Again, this is the last of the five videos. I hope you've enjoyed them. Good luck in your Python studies.